Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Newbie Tutorial Redux. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 9. It's the year 2320. Just after the start of the mid-game, we just got done with one of the the first war that we were ever involved in. Let's see from the opinion map mode now, the Raxar Commissarian is a little smaller. Have these guys for allies. So we're in the position of trying to get our empire back taken care of. We have a lot of stuff that hasn't been done. We're short on minerals. <clears throat> We're selling a lot of minerals to make up for shortfalls because of the cost of having fleets running around and things of that nature. So, Construction complete. Here on Hish, we're going to have our troops land there. Garrison them in that spot. This fleet's gonna go down here and take care of this thing. Research complete. I also have a. What does this guy do? No orders. He's gonna come down here. There. Because he's gonna survey the system when I'm done. City district housing has been improved. And now, oh, now we have minerals for miners. Very much want that, so we're gonna grab it. Technology wise, as far as research goes, we don't have anybody <coughs> who could do industry. We don't have an industry specialist. So we're just gonna keep using the genius that we have. This guy here is a spark of genius plus 10% and he's a void craft. So we're just gonna leave him there. Keep doing that. And then we're going to take a look at all these plants and see what we can build. We can't really build too much because our minerals are low. So I want to let this uh, gestate for a few turns. And in fact, we have some extra influence. So we're going to turn on production targets for a little mineral bonus. And then we're going to see how this goes. Construction complete. Hostile fleet engaged. So we're gonna take out the space amoebas. <laughs> and that finishes off that system. So those guys can go back and repair. We can start to get our fleets ready to go. There's also that is a bit of business. So let's you guys go down there, research the projects in the system, and then survey the system. This fleet, where are they going? Oh yeah, they're going to do the same thing. They're going to take on the complete. void clouds over here. <clears throat> and then we'll send them back to get upgraded somewhere else. He's 8,400. Still, they could probably take this whole Research bit of complete. business up there. Hypercoms Forum, that is the next upgrade. Culture, I like that. I want that. that upgrade. Let me actually send these guys down here. Can we see what... Take a look and see what their fleets are like. They have mining lasers and armor. I think, uh... Oh, this is this fleet. This is our, uh... This is our Federation fleet. So... Which has a whole bunch of different stuff. I'm not gonna send a Federation fleet to do that dirty work. Here come these guys. 8.5k versus them. Gateway reactivated. Epi system. There we go. These guys are done. Oh, and there's a planet there. Okay, this is 8.6k. So I want to send them over there. <coughs> I'm going to take this science ship here, research projects and system, and then survey that system. Fine. Epi. Episcilia system. So it goes to there. Down to here. 
So this needs to be... Where does this go? Hold on. Yeah. Right there, the back door of our enemy. <clears throat> right there. The Great Wasari Combine. So, we need to fix that situation. Let's upgrade that. Let's build a little bastion there. With a bunch of defenses. What are you guys doing? You're just sitting there? Two random ships. This is a star base that needs to be upgraded. So that's super. We can build a fleet here, and then we can assign it to there. Ring world requires ten thousand. More declared. Hmm. Oh, but we can't do it because we don't have mega engine. Okay. War declared between the Raxar High Commissariat and the Rafari High Kingdom. So that's complete. up here. This is who they were fighting with before they went to war with us, and now they're fighting with them again. The Raxar just can't. They can't get themselves to stop fighting those. All right, we have some minerals. Oh, what do we have here? We have crime. Okay, you're gone then. Um, leaders, <laughs> fire him. Hire somebody else. Take one of these food guys or ship build speed and ship build cost. Sure, we'll take you. So you can help build ships faster and that'll ease some of the crime there. Yeah, that helps. In the meantime, we're short those consumer goods. What else? We have an autochthon monument and we have a commercial zone on this planet. The thing we don't have is a stronghold and let's see what we're short on. We're short on rare crystals now. So let's put a synthetic crystal plant down. This costs a crystal to upgrade. This doesn't cost any crystals to upgrade. This costs a crystal to upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade this and this. This planet has four unemployed pops. Again, I'm always looking to make sure there's a, a Tokthon monument or heritage site and a consumer commercial zone. And if I have those two things and the Ministry of Production on the factory world, then I, then I can build whatever I want to at that point. <clears throat> whatever I think I need. Uh, let's build a synthetic crystal plant. Put some more people to work. Let's build a couple more. Well, we can't. We're down to 765 minerals, so. This colony needs some housing. We're gonna have to spend it here. But let's do that. Puts us in the red for a month because we didn't have enough to sell, but that's okay. We'll bounce back. And if we have enough for the edicts, capacity overload will give us some more monthly energy credits. So I'm going to spend that in the hopes that I can sell fewer of these to stay afloat. That way we can Debris earn them analyzed. and bank them and start spending them on this Debris stuff. Debris analyzed. Okay, debris analyzed. Great. I'm going to take a look at our world. Let's see, ocean worlds. Making sure we get all of our worlds the same Arctic world. This one's being terraformed. Continental world, which we like. Savannah world, which is being terraformed. The Gaia world. Zootopia. Research complete. Ocean, continental, continental. Savannah being. Construction chained. complete. Continental, continental, ocean, continental. Okay. So that's good. Research miners, that's what we need more of those. Synth leaders. It's a long way off though, it's 45,000 away. I think what I'd rather have here. It's not a lot to get plasma thrusters because they're pretty close to being done already. Civilian replica co complexes upgrades our minerals. I mean, uh, our consumer goods. I'm gonna grab this because it's really cheap. It'll be over in a blink, and then we'll get something a little more meaningful. 
these guys are not that happy. So let's give them uh, all of theaters. Anomaly found. Yes, research that in the alien zoo. This place. Interdimensional trade increases. Ooh, I like that. I just wish I knew what it actually gave me. Uh, civilian industries. We need more of those. And these cost us moats, which we have a bunch of now. So we can safely upgrade like two of those to provide more jobs on that planet. This colony is no longer a colony colony. It's a mining one. Research complete. Build it. Upside down. We're gonna give it commercial zones for hypercoms for him. Great. Habitability. Mm, it's cheap for five percent. We're gonna go for it. Construction complete. System survey complete. This planet needs two things. So I'm gonna give it an alpha alignment. And food processing facilities, which add the 15%. Einstein is a research planet. Has seven people that need jobs. And it, it does have an attack on one, so I'll create that. Oh, and then we're spent again. We're spent again. Construction complete. So now we can go back over here and look at this stuff. Um, Anchorage, gun battery, defense grid supercomputer, and an upgrade. Research complete. Mining station out there, nice. Engineering researchers from here, and Starbase Upgrade Coast. Ooh, please give me that. This place here. Okay, explosions in the sky. The planet of Tetis 2 is the home of a marvel of nature. Giant, colorful explosions appear in the sky, a result of the chemical composition of the atmosphere reacting to the sun's gamma rays. Students and senior scientists alike are spreading this to find well, are spreading this fine like a wildfire. It has generated quite the spark of interest in our scientific community. Inspired science recruits modifier added for 120 months. Okay. Uh, for defenses here. Anomaly found. We'll do the rest later. Start to have more room. Here is this planet. Not enough of these, but first things first. Energy grid to make use of all these guys over here. Uh, commercial zones. You guys are back here. Oh, I'm gonna need a uh, instructor. Build a star base there. You're done, are you not? Yes, it says no more orders for me. Oh. Then let's send you over to the upside down. are doing good. This place up here. Naval Fleet Academy. Okay. We'll park you over there. Guartan. Where are you headed to? Impressive stands. You're a pretty sizable fleet. I think what I'd like you to do is. Are you fixed? No. Okay, you're gonna go there and get fixed first. Research complete. Habitability that didn't take on Galactic Stock Exchange. Oh, how nice. Yes, I think we need to get that next.
these guys need construction more jobs. complete. And we said we do some energy grid stuff over here. Asteroid collision. Scientist has earned a treatment. This planet's all tapped out for districts. So now it just needs more factories. Construction complete. This is a colony. Give them an autochthon. Bigger capital building. I need a... Uh, you. Construction oh, yeah, complete. You're hanging out. You guys are right there. Right? You're all healed. Let's upgrade you as well. Oh no. Don't upgrade them. You gotta go all the way over there to upgrade Construction them. complete. No. Instead we're just gonna go take these guys on. Can't go in there? Oh did we? Yes we turned this off and we said don't fly through there because we didn't want our ships getting trashed. So we lost a researcher. We lost the person doing computing. So our fabulous researcher, that fabulous uh, stray woman we got, she's gone now. So what technology do I want to do? We're doing computing. All right, Mr. Computer. Grab this guy. start assisting on Spock. What are these science ships here? That science ship doesn't have anybody. Research speed. Let's get, just get a plain old genius in there then. Vertimon, because we integrated them. And this science ship here doesn't have anybody. So we're going to grab someone with an expertise in biology. And then you need to build the mining base and build a research station. There's a planet there. It's a tomb world. We'll have to terraform that. You have to have special technology to terraform the tomb world. So. Alright, let's see how this works out. i got all these little fleets here. They kind of get messy. Here they come one at a time. Kill him as fast as possible. That's going on. Now let's do this. Next, Ascension Perks. Domination. Governor and leader cap capital buildings and housing provide one housing each. Enforcers reduce crime. I like all of that. Prosperity, building upkeep, and build cost. More city districts provide more housing and more clerks and specialist output is increased here. Ruler level cap and resources from workers and slaves. Harmony is kind of like the last one I always do. Um, leader lifespan. Pops decreasing governing, governing ethics attraction. It's not that it's bad, it's just different. Well, in a defensive war with another empire, shipbuilding speed is increased by 33%. In addition, the ship fire rate is increased by 15% for ships within your borders. Ooh, that's tempting. To have earlier rather than later. Mm. Just for that alone, it's almost worth taking harmony. Wow. I'm going to do... Capital buildings and housing buildings provide one each. Enforcers reduce crime by an additional 20%. That's like that. We're going to go for prosperity, though. I'm going to do that. This is... Defense grid supercomputer. What's this? Start building some defensive platforms there. We're almost done with this mining. We destroyed the mining bone drone base. Alright. You guys go in there and research the 
system and then survey it. You guys can go repair. And you can move there. We'll take over this system. Complete. It's a giant construction asteroid complete. Belt. It's pretty awesome looking. What is this? This is a ship of ours that has no leader. And it's not doing anything. Okay, well in that case you can fly over there. Same thing with you guys. Fly there. Construction complete. And what are you guys doing? Oh yeah, you're there. Perched star flock. No, I'm gonna call these uh the Gate Warden Fleet. And then we'll uh, we'll worry about getting them some more numbers soon. We're making plenty of money, so and we've we've really finally boosted our uh our output there, which is really nice. So we're in good position to start just building stuff, complete. building stuff all over the place here. Um, research, they have the Research Institute, they've got a few things on here. As this said, Dust Caverns, Bubbling Swamp. Dust caverns give us a malt harvesting trap, bubbling spot, give us a gas extraction well. So we put those on there. We also added some exotic refineries. We're doing pretty good on all of our resources there. So just give us some more research. There. This world has four people unemployed. So let's... And let's give, give them some employment and upgrade our autochthon money. This planet upgrade its autochthon monument and then spend the rest of it on housing. Which will give some clerk jobs. This needs to upgrade its capital. Provide another mining district. Two more housing districts. I'm rolling through our minimums pretty fast. These guys don't have a lot for amenities, so I'm going to give them a polo theater. Upgrade that Atakon monument. Give them two more of those jobs. <clears throat> you almost could put everything, do all of the job districts on this planet because it had so many total districts. Awesome. Oh, it's got dust caverns, which is for maximal harvesting traps. Okay, it's good. This planet. What? Oh, this is one we took over. Vertimon. This is. These are the humans. This was their homeworld. So we're gonna change this. Um, replace that. Talk then one and add this. Had a lot of districts, so we can max all this stuff out. <coughs> so we'll just leave that the way it is. Vertima. You need to go to there. Debris analyzed. You need to go to Construction there. complete. Okay, and then we can take so all of our trade routes. That's the thing. As soon as you create a, a star base, it automatically connects itself to your homeworld. Well, you don't want to do that. You want it to connect to the next closest star base. So then it becomes very easy to see how many trade routes are coming into your homeworld. Well, three usually. You're usually going to have it from three different directions. So this is great. We can see where they're coming in from. We can see how much is coming in. 590, which is great because we're in the black by 240. So we would be hemorrhaging money if we didn't have this. You can see that they're all maxed out which is great the black hole one's not bringing in anything but this is great bringing in 135 there 255 there and we can see real quick at a glance you know we're not seeing piracy along the way anywhere yet because of the hangar protection construction so, complete that's fabulous are you done oh you're done okay um let's terraform this world terraform oh yeah it's a tomb world planet is not within our borders. Never mind. It's 
It's not because it's the Tomb Realm, it's because it's not within our borders. You come here, build Starbase. You are done and can go somewhere else. You can go to Jangle. Unless I don't have anybody, System survey complete. I don't have anybody at Einstein. So that's where you actually need to go. Research complete. Go to Einstein and assist research there. Research complete. Build cost. Okay. Neutron launchers. Cloud lightning. Yes. Oh my goodness. Some good stuff. Everything on here is stuff that I want. Um, Particles, 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 particles. I want all the particle stuff. So we're gonna put the particle guy in charge. And what's this construction ship doing? He's done. He can go home anywhere. It's close by. This science vessel <coughs> is done there. Great. You can go back down here. And you are ready to take over. Build that. And we're ready to keep looking at this. <clears throat> They're building defense platforms. Research complete. Construction complete. Upgrading to Starhold. Do this. Do that whole upgrading the star holding after you build all those things. Starbase upgrade, planet build speed. Battleship build speed, and we haven't built any battleships yet. We haven't designed one. So we'll have to do that. <clears throat> so we can take a look at inferior. Oh no. The Raxar Commissariat is pathetic compared to us. And they are. They have. Construction complete. At war, who do they have? Defensive packs with the Great Wasari Combine and the Bernathi. So the Bernathi are pathetic fleet wise compared to us, and the Great Wasari Combine are pathetic compared to us. So, research complete. That'd be an opportunity for us. Construction to complete. But our oh, own resort world. It's a special thing to come up with. All right, let's do a little bit of the. Uh, Designing the battleship. Okay. The artillery bow, we have that. The artillery core, the broadside, where you can just put another large. This is what I like to do. This is this is gonna be nice. Oops, dang it. Give me this. Okay. Steel armor. We need the advanced reactor booster. <laughs> the AI that says stay far away from the ship, far away from the enemies. Put this on there, mega cannon. And then for long range proton launchers. Let's see, the advanced railgun cuts through shields. This does an even better job though. It's 150 to 450 damage. This it does this is way better. The kinet kinet kinetic battery is, is the monster. So we're gonna do like that. Two protons and that. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna do a mix of, of shields and armor. And I'm gonna call this the B. Um, what is this thing up here? Oh yeah, the B. The B Mega. And then I'm also going to do the particle lance. You can see this does all armor and hull damage. This does a mix of shield and hull damage. It doesn't do as good against the armor. But I just like to mix things up. B particle. <coughs> Get rid of this structure, the one that they have uh, defensively there. And then what I wanted to go do is in my Corvettes... Um, I want to change this from a reactor booster because I don't need it to afterburn. As you can see, that these add uh, evasion 5%. I don't need the extra energy on these ships. So the extra evasion is helpful on the Corvettes. So we grab afterburners. And 
as we get better tech. Stuff automatically upgrades. Alright, we got afterburners on all those guys. This is a short little destroyer. I need to have one other destroyer here in my fleet that I don't have right now, and that is a, uh, a type of picket ship. This, the uh, point defense has 75% track accuracy and 10% tracking. This has 75% accuracy and 50% tracking. So I'm going to put flak batteries here. I'm going to put uh, auxiliary fire control to help with my chance to hit. And then what I'm going to put here is like the most accurate thing that I can find. <clears throat> the auto cannons have 85% accuracy and 75% tracking. And that's probably one of the best we're going to get, other than the small ion disruptor, which can go straight through it. The difference is the auto cannon does 8 to 16 damage and doesn't have to chew anything. So the small ion disruptors are probably the best, I would guess. This also has 90% accuracy. This is 100% accuracy with 60% tracking. Uh, I'm going to say this might be the best choice. So, this becomes my point defense ship to help kind of take on uh, missiles. Oh, and the other thing is you can do. Uh, let's see. And then on the Corvette side of things, cruiser, I mean. There's a... Uh, oh, I don't have it, do I? Oh yeah, right there. Yep. So here's where you can have, like, the amoeba flagella. So these things can help take on incoming uh, ships. If you look at these, the damage in these is 3 to 6. Their evasion is 50%. Same thing with these, but their damage is way better, 20 to 30 so you can have uh, something like that but the problem is this this doesn't isn't a great ship because it only has the one amoeba on there and two point defense um, and I don't really want to waste a battleship on that though so I might create one it's still gonna have a let's see something like this yeah let's do this I'm gonna spend one on the auxiliary fire control to make things shoot better we're gonna use one nuke we're gonna use a lot of short range cannons we're gonna split between the auto cannons and the disruptors we're gonna put amoebas on there two sentinel point defenses wait a minute no these the flak batteries they have better tracking so this this helps, I believe, take down take down uh, defenses. And then what we say is, let's see, hold range at advance to fifty range in a hold formation. I think that's probably correct. Everything it has here is really short, and we're waiting for what we want it to do is have missiles come and and try to get our bigger ships we want to intercept them before they get to the 80 that our other ships are sitting at and we don't want to put it at 30 because then they're right up against the enemy and they can get blasted so we want it somewhere in the middle so i think that's i think that's a decent strategy but somebody out there who knows more about ships might uh, let me know otherwise but anyway this particular fleet the third wave we're going to add some ships to it we're going to add one of these battleships of each type and a point defense cruiser and a point defense destroyer. And you can see how quickly that stacked up. Um, all those guys. Hey, can I just get another couple of battleships in here? I can, can I? Yes. One more point defense cruiser. And, uh, <clears throat> I like having those battleships. Oh, and then these guys. 
Yeah, and the proton launcher ships. So that's full. I'm gonna reinforce that fleet, and that should that should grow into a pretty nice, sizable fleet. The next one that we'll build will be down here. Take this fleet. Oh, this this is a I forgot. This is those guys. The next fleet that we'll work on is this one right here. Same kind of deal with it. This is the second wave fleet. So let's give them the battleships. Cruiser, K Pen, they need this cruiser. They need one point defense, that point defense. They've got some of the Corvettes. They don't have the penetration class Corvette. That's the one. Oh, yeah, they do. Got all those Corvettes. Yeah, multiple battleships here. Let's give you two of those and one more of those. Alright, so we're gonna have a nice big battleship fleet here. Construction complete. So when we're staring at the enemy and they're thinking, well, we gotta attack from the Raxar and we gotta attack from them, and we got our allies kind of as a buffer here. That we don't have to worry about so much so we're going to want to swoop into here and kind of try to take this with our research complete Wait. chain lightning is in now we'll have to upgrade some ships to that <clears throat> the gamma laser unlock tech that'd be great this shipyard down here get some anchorage Give me a fleet academy upgraded. Same thing here. This is on the back side of this nation. That's kind of going to be the great construction complete. Oh, sorry, combine. These guys kind of suck. So I want to have a fleet that can at least defend right there when they try to come through. So this is the gate warden fleet, and uh, we'll add some ships to them. Orders. This is a case where I was going to do something like this. Construction complete. Construction complete. We'll start to build that fleet up in a little bit. Construction crews. Borders closed from the Great Wasari Combine and the Raxar. So our 10 years of white complete. peace is now officially over. And they're gonna feel frisky soon, I'm sure. What are we looking at for tech? Currently doing statecraft. So we have somebody who can do that. So we'll go back down here and look at science. Somebody died, so pick somebody else up. Who either has computing power or he's a strictly a survey person. Peter Cost, we're gonna grab this guy. Assist with research on Spock. The gate warden fleet. You guys complete. are up there, and actually, what I'm going to do is have you move down. Construction complete. And join the gate warden fleet. You guys can do the same thing. Same thing. That's our. Federation fleet. This is a... This was a choke point, which is no longer really necessary. Construction but complete. as a backup plan, I'm going to leave it here for right now. Um, Research complete. I'm going to remind myself that I can destroy this one at any time. <laughs> it's the least useful. It's a nice backup choke point, though. Leader upkeep and leader level cap. Fleet command limit. Fence mm, unlocks a fortress, which we already have. And then there's a regenerative halt. I can't like to get that now. The bioforge supremacy. So. Let's go take care of some of this, especially since we're starting to max out. Mm, what do we have here? 
We have a lot of people to employ. Let's build a city for some housing. Let's do. We're in the black again on consumer goods, but not by much. So, might as well do that. This planet has the, the key ingredients heritage site, the Ministry of Production. What are we looking at over here? Getting short and rare crystals again. Synthetic crystal plant. What do these guys have? Crystal caverns, which we put up, max crystal mines, and the odd factory, which is already up. So. This planet, yes, lots and lots more of these districts. Do those build plan ahead there. These guys have unemployed four unemployed pops, and these cost gas extraction wells to upgrade. So we can do two of those. That'll provide six more jobs. This planet mining. Mineral purification fence. Upgrade that. Provide that job and two more quick jobs in city space. Nice little thing. Another research world. It has the energy grid for these guys and it has the mining for them. So just put more research on it. Research labs. These guys need upgrades. This provides 10 more clerk jobs. Same situation here, 10 more clerk jobs. Keep upgrading the Atokthan monuments. Construction complete. So it's a little bit of war, and then it's a lot of getting your empire back up and running. And getting all these numbers good again. You can see now we're starting to really roll in the minerals again, which is good. It's right where we want to be. With really healthy trade income. The Raxar Commissariat, they're at war currently. The Rufari High Kingdom. How's the Rufari High Kingdom? They seem to be doing good. They don't seem to be losing. <laughs> Construction and we don't complete. have enough claims right now. We don't have enough influence to claim more. Hirsch. Oh yeah, we were doing this. Um, replace that with city districts. Upgrade that. Sure, all of my plants are vertamen. What do we want these guys to do? Agro world. Construction complete. Construction and where complete. Where is vertamen? Vertamen is there, and are they not part of? Oh, they're not. They're not in this. So vertamen, we're going to give a sector two. They can have a leader. They can do. Oh, we have engineering. Construction okay, complete. Let's look at which system is providing the most research. It's our homeworld, Bioforge Prime. So we want to go to Bioforge Prime, and this guy's not providing research, and we want to recruit somebody else who is. He's going to give a nice bonus, and then we go to Vertimon and say the free guy who has shipbuilding. Let's do that one. Pushes our engineering research. All of our research now is over. 1k. Quite a Construction bit, complete. What are you doing? Anything over there? Construction Bird and complete. And we'll give them. Uh, oh, they need robots. They're not making robots in their world yet, are they? These guys, they're 
also going to have food and minerals. Research Lots complete. of construction going on. The gamma lays the tachyon lance. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Research complete. Where is that one at? It's right there. Construction okay. complete. Defense grid supercomputer. Naval logistics office upgrade. We got regenerative hull tissue. Nice. Um, leader lifespan. Kind of like that. Or resources from jobs. This is really short though. It won't take long. I'll go back to my fleets and look at... Mega cannon, particle lance, and now there's this cloud lightning, 100% shield penetration and armor penetration. That is so nice. Mm, so these do 50% against armor, 75% against all these do 100% against shields, and these do 100% against everything because they just penetrate straight, straight through. They don't have the same overall damage. Like these do 360 to 800 at 75 percent of hull damage is more than this is going to do but i like having the cloud lightning around and the kinetic battery same thing 150 to 450 and when it does 450 at 100 percent shield damage it's pretty awesome but these are kind of nice we'll put those on some ships later Alright, mineral purification plants there. They're gonna need more jobs soon. Like the looks of this though, especially for like this guy up here. I'd kinda like to have him have his own star base for a uh, For giving him ships. So I think that's what I'm gonna do since I can still spare a couple. Construction complete. Upgrade that one to a shipyard. And construction complete. Thinking about doing the same thing. So I have uh, what this is trade and this is a shipyard back here. That's not in a good spot, is it? We're gonna downgrade that one and we're gonna move it over to here. Research complete. War exhaustion cost. I mean, yeah, claim influence cost and war exhaustion gain. Ooh, leaders selected lineage. I like that. Let's grab that. And that is. Biology. Okay, so hold on. He's working at 59%, and if we take a biologist... 74, that's just such a significant upgrade that you kind of have to do that. Since it only takes a couple seconds to switch these over. You build those. And you build us. our whole empire now. We don't have any complete. straggling systems. We've got them all. This is good. This, I'm, I'm not... How many defense... Oh, I have a ton of defense platforms already built on it. This is a good backup choke point. I guess we'll leave it there for now. You guys are at 110 capacity and that's awesome. Um, the only thing you can really do now is be upgraded, so why don't we do that? Ships upgraded. Awesome. You're fully ready to go. 18.4k. Construction complete. Oh yeah, and this ship here. Research complete. Research battleships. The Ripper Auto Cannon, the Gauss Cannon. Let's do it. We don't have anybody with propulsion, do we? Even if we do, let's see. 
He's operating at 77%. If we put the propulsion guy in there, he operates at 76. Construction complete. Construction complete. All you guys over here, the drone forces, be part of the Gate Warden fleet. Construction complete. This mega structure. I need more, but I want to. Oh, and I don't have. I still don't have mega engineering, so that's why. That's why it's like. Here, shipyard. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, build up. What am I losing now? I'm losing rare crystals. Okay. Building upkeep and district usage. Building upkeep and district upkeep reduced by 10%. We're going to take that. I'm short now on rare crystals, so one of these planets that has room to build something is going to need to build rare crystals. In fact, probably a couple of them are. So, synthetic crystal plants. Construction. We have to go through so many of them for upgrades. Now, this is a different story. I don't have anything anything built on this planet yet. It could be anything. It could be research or it could be construction complete. It could be research or it could be manufacturing. And I'm thinking I need one more research planet. Let's do it. Research complete. Let's change the name of this thing. Except Fox 3 is kind of funny. We're gonna leave it. <laughs> Selected lineage is ooh, food from jobs. It's a really special one. Rare technology. Construction complete. The monument, and this is a bunch of unemployed people. This requires crystals to upgrade. So does that. It provides ten more, five more jobs though. Four more jobs on this planet. So, moats that provide three. We'll flush out the rest of the districts. Those provide clerk jobs. This needs <coughs> more jobs. What does it say? Unconnected Starbase. Not connected to the trade network. Connected. This one says it's not connected to the trade network, and now it is. Construction complete. And our trade network's back up and running. Fabulous. Ish is a generator world. It's just like even across the board for everything. Um. Let's do this then. We're still behind. Always going to be behind on consumer goods just because the way I tend to play things. I like where we're at right now. This is construction complete. Closer to the end of this video, sir. Video. This video, not the series. The series is still long as we're done, but as we get down on this episode, I like construction going. complete. Um, what am I? I'm, a, I'm on eleven housing here, and I still have all these upgrades, and these can be upgraded another time later on. We need luxury housing on this planet. Construction complete. What happens later on is you can take one of these buildings that's not all the way upgraded. And when you upgrade one of these, you're going to get three more jobs out of it. So then you take the jobs away from here and turn it into housing. And so you still get a net, um, sometimes you get a net gain on jobs and you get more housing that way. 
these have already been upgraded once so but things like you can replace the robot assembly plant later on because you don't need your robots so much one thing I should take a look at is species and what our, where our robots are we don't have those guys anymore we don't have them anymore everybody likes the same world except for these ocean going dudes those guys so what do we have we have a bunch of fast robots Oh, what are these guys? Alpine preference. Oh. Let's create a template out of you. Oh, we'll do you later. There's only one of you citizens. Ocean preference. Get everybody switched over here. Actually, let's look at Versac. Let's create a template for you. Change you to this. Get rid of this. And say Unity. We're going to create that template. And we're going to apply that template to all the Versac in our empire. Six months time, which is nothing. Then we're going to do some robot modification. Construction complete. This place needs lots of jobs here. How are we doing now? Now we're doing better. Our sapient combat AI. I'm just gonna grab that. Advanced research conferences. I want this. He's gonna research it at a 67% clip. But if I put this guy on it, it's a 76% clip, which is much better. Construction and complete. we get a diplomatic insult from the Raxar. We're upset, but guess what, buddies? Construction complete. You can insult us all you want. You're the ones who are going to pay the price. Species modified. Yay, species modified. All right, let's look at robot miners. Let's see, hold on. Let's see, what about the template? That's good. Okay. I'm just gonna apply it to all the places where we know there's lots of mining going on, and that's why we use this. We'll designate it at food, mining, food, 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 mining, mining energy, mining energy, mining, mining. That's all the fast robots. I don't have Mizar labeled, so I need to think about labeling that in mining. That one by that template. What's Mizar doing? Usually in this planet I don't have applied, it's because yeah, you need to say what you're doing here, buddy. Mizar. Construction complete. Let's, uh, if we're gonna have specialized robots on it, make it make them mining robots and vertimen if we're gonna have specialized robots on here let's make them food they need a whole theater soon as soon as we can the racket are here what can you do for us for 200 they can give us a caravan destroyer not interested don't need it not interested the rocks are commissariat Oh, and the Bernathi are now not as angry as they used to be. They used to be as red as these fools over here. So maybe because they see my giant fleet standing over here and they're like, hmm. That's not... We don't need to be enemies. We can be friends. Like that. The Bernathi. They're only at 79 and it says allied to rivals. Well, you could be part of our Empire. These guys are still overwhelming compared to the ancient caretakers. Construction complete. So I think this is where we're going to leave this episode. It's been a lot of fun. 
It's been pretty cool. Construction complete. I've enjoyed it. So, folks, as always, if you guys like the content, um, please uh, like the video. If you dig the channel, subscribe. And if you have a question or comment, drop it down below. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.